Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So this is my grocery haul this week. Everything that you see here was $86 with tax. So let's get into the meal plan. All right, y'all, so here's my meal plan for July 16th through July 22nd. My budget is always around the $100 mark and I was a little bit below that this week, so happy with that. Guys, I usually spend between $100 and $120 weekly because what you don't see on my grocery and meal plans per week is that I have to make like in-between stops for like more almond milk or juice or whatever. So it winds up being around $100 to, you know, like $110 per week depending on what I spent at the grocery. So for Monday night's dinner, I'm going to be making Eggs Benedict. I am so scared to make this because I'm going to bring this to y'all on Foodie. Eggs Benedict is one of my favorite breakfast of all time. However, I've never made a poached egg in my life and I have a hack off of Pinterest to do it in the muffin tins. And so if you don't see a foodie Fridays this Friday, it's because it was an epic fail. So I'm so nervous. And there's a restaurant close to us that makes eggs Benedict with lump crab meat on top. So I did buy some crab meat. I splurged to kind of replicate that recipe because it is just so stinking good and hash browns on the side. So Tuesday, Waylon and I are going to see the new Jurassic Park movie. I'm so excited about taking him to the movies for a second time. He was really good the first time. Um, a little restless, about 30 minutes at the end, so not bad. So we're going to have leftovers that night. I'm sure we're going to eat something at Movie Tavern when we go watch the movie. Wednesday, I'm going to be making my whole chicken in the crock pot with stuffing and broccoli on the sides. Um, the whole chicken, guys, I'm not going to be bringing it to a foodie, but it may or may not be in the cookbook coming up. Just a little heads up there. Then shopping probably on Thursday to pick up my grocery order with leftovers because the hubby and I are going to be Biloxi bound again. Yes, we're going to be going to Biloxi for one night. We are staying at one of the casinos. I'm so excited to be able to get away for just one night and have some adult time for once because we never do anything for ourselves. But we're trying to do once a month Maybe just go to the show and eat dinner or go out for a night and come back. Um, that type of thing to kind of get some adult time because we've kind of neglected doing that for about five years since Trey was born. So we're trying to have a little bit more us time, if that makes sense. Then for Saturday, we're going to be making my copycat Olive Garden Alfredo sauce. It is so good. I do have that on Foodie, so I will link that in the cards above with broccoli and breadsticks. And then... Leftovers on Sunday, and that's my couponing running all over like a crazy woman day. So that's going to be all um, leftovers, super busy. Like I said, Eggs Benedict on Foodie Friday. Hopefully, y'all, fingers crossed because I am so nervous to make that um, recipe. So like I said, if you don't see anything, it's because we probably had a frozen pizza instead. So let's get into the actual grocery haul this week. All right, y'all, so moving right along, I got two things of almond milk. Now, this silk almond milk, the 96 ounce, is only... Only three dollars and ninety-seven cents, which I think is a really good price. And this half gallon of the great value is two ninety-seven. So Waylon flies through milk; it's ridiculous. And y'all know I've switched him over now to the almond milk. And let me tell you, hashtag mom win. He took to this like he never even drank regular milk. Like what? That kid will put anything in his mouth. He just doesn't even care as long as he has something. And he's like calming down, whatever. He likes to drink milk mostly in the evenings when he's like settling down, but he drinks a ton of it. So instead, we've got him drinking this unsweetened almond milk. Yay. Hashtag winning. So yeah, but the only thing is he drinks a lot. So hopefully we can wean him down with drinking the quantity now, but he took to that like a pro. Then my homemaker orange juice, I always buy that. And then I got some heavy whipping cream and that is for a recipe this week. I got another dozen of the cage-free large eggs, the brown eggs from Walmart. And those are not any more expensive than your regular eggs at my store anyway, because our dairy's crazy high here. That is craziness to me. I got some hummus. Y'all know I love hummus. And sometimes I'll just eat this with some like pita chips and that'll be it for lunch, maybe with a yogurt. And that's it. Like I don't eat a lot for lunch and I don't eat a lot for breakfast. I like to indulge at night for dinner. <laughs> that's my thing since on my weight loss journey. Now, my girls have been all about this Noosa yogurt. So I'm like, say what? I got to try this because they're like raging about it. And I saw this coffee, chocolate, and almond one. And it's got cold brew coffee, yogurt with guitar, dark chocolate, and almonds, whatever that is. But I mean, it just looks bomb. So I had to give this a try. And it wasn't that expensive. And then I got this little bitty blueberry one just to try it. They have the bigger ones and the packs are a better value. But 
I'm going to give it a try and see if I like it because I rave about it. I got some more organic baby spinach to go with wraps. I did have some things that were out of stock today, guys. They were out of my flat out wraps that I like to get every once in a while. They were out of parsley and they were out of my lemon yogurt that I've been raving about that Fage kind. So womp womp. So three things. They didn't give me substitutions because they were like wiped out of everything. I got some Paw Patrol string cheese and you get 12 sticks in here and look how cute the characters are at the bottom. Waylon's going to love that. Then I got two lemons for a recipe. Um, Y'all were telling me that the Lunchables were on sale at Target for a dollar. Well, Walmart caught on because they price reduced all their Lunchables to a dollar as well. Even the great value ones that I've been buying for a buck fifty, they reduced those to a dollar. So I went ahead and got the name brand, the Lunchable kind, and it's the same ones that Trey has been loving with the three discs. I got eight of them because, like I said, they were just a dollar, and he's been eating this for dinner. That's his new jam, so why not get what he likes? Likes. Then I got some plum organics applesauce, and this is the strawberry and banana. This is organic, non-GMO, all that good stuff. I got four of those. Waylon likes those every once in a while. These pears, guys, we've been talking about, you know, where things originate from and all that good stuff. When you open the package on the top of them, it says grown in the USA. So y'all are concerned about those coming from China. It says grown in the USA, so I'm guessing it comes from here. I don't know for sure, but I know Trey likes them. 100% juice. Got those. I got some fettuccine for a recipe. Then I also got some raisins because Trey has been kind of getting bored with some of the snacks I've been putting in his lunchbox. And he used to love raisins and they're good for you. I'd rather put something like this in his lunchbox than chips per se. So um, I got this for him and see if he's going to like those. Something he liked from last week, guys. Yes, I knew he would like these. Are these gluten-free vanilla wafers? They're like $3.48 a box, which is actually not bad because I checked them on Amazon and they're like way more expensive on Amazon than they are at Walmart, the same exact brand and box. And they're gluten-free, dairy-free, nut-free, all that good stuff. They taste bomb. I taste them and they taste just like vanilla wafers. So if you're gluten-free and you like vanilla wafers, definitely give these a try. He loved those. I mentioned in my last Foodie Fridays that I was out of garlic powders. So that was 98 cents. I picked that up. Now, in my Motivational Monday, I showed this peanut butter. I've never tried it, but I've wanted to. It's the Crazy Richard's 100% Peanuts All Natural, and it's in creamy. And the ingredients, guys, are straight up peanuts. That's it. So I like that when you have just like peanuts or salt as an ingredient for peanut butter. No added sugar and all that is great. And I don't know about y'all, but when you see my bread, my kids have been tearing up some peanut butter and jellies this summer. Like they want it for lunch. They want it for dinner. Trey and Waylon, they are like killing the peanut butter and jelly. So I'm trying to get all natural in them versus any sugary stuff and you definitely gonna have to stir this I can see it but that's not a problem for me I like the kind from brandless guys but I forgot to put it in my recent order so that's why I bought this I got some more shrimp like I hauled last week in my grocery haul and that is for the alfredo recipe to go with our alfredo now something you've never seen before and it took everything in me to purchase this it's this regular lump of crab meat and this is by poncha train blues locally in slidell close by me so this is a local product so this is lump crab meat guys this is the kind of crab meat you want um, you don't want any of that other stuff as like fake as all get out um, this was $14 for this little bitty package but I'm making those eggs benedicts and I have a restaurant local to me that makes blue crab eggs benedict and it is to die for it's like heaven in your mouth and I want to kind of recreate that so I bought that to go on top of our eggs benedict then I got this Tuscan seasoned broccoli and I should have got two packages because I'm going to put that on the side of our Alfredo instead of salad this week and there's not much in there at all so I should have got a bigger package. Womp womp. I got this big package though of the broccoli and cheese sauce. We love this stuff. It's low calorie. Um, it doesn't have a lot of sodium in it and it's really good for you. I ate this a lot on my weight loss journey because it tastes cheesy but it doesn't have a lot of bad stuff in it. I'm telling y'all it's really good and I got that for the side of our chicken. I don't know why I got these. These are the blueberry snack muffins by great value. You get 12 in here for $3. Instead of getting the little mini ones, I got these bigger ones. Um, trying to persuade Waylon to eat something other than, I would say this is junk, this is not good for you, but he's eating even worse stuff in the morning, guys. And that kid, like, all he wants to do is snack. I'm trying to get some, like, real stuff in him. Um, gotta wean up to the better stuff, but that's a start. Then the southern hash browns are gonna go on the long side of our eggs benedict. 
I just got some chopped onions to go in a recipe. Now for Walmart grocery pickup today, they gave us these cute stickers to go in kids' lunch boxes and you can write anything on them. Like here's the example, you're a big deal, have a great day at school. So these were so cute, I can put these in Trey's lunch box each day and give him a little message from mom and his teacher can read it to him. I thought that was really sweet. I got two loaves of bread, like I said, they've been tearing up the peanut butter and jellies and I haven't had bread because Trey takes a sandwich for lunch and then Waylon wants one from lunch and for dinner, so it's been so crazy. two packages of bread and this is the kind I've been buying with the no high fructose corn syrup. Then I love these breadsticks, guys. These are so good. They're roasted garlic and herb by Sam's Choice. We got these to go along the side of our Alfredo. These things are amazing. Like five minutes in the oven, they're so, so good. They taste just like Olive Garden in my opinion. Then for the Eggs Benedict, I got these Thomas Breakfast, um, what are these called? English muffins. Like, I don't think I've ever bought English muffins in my life. Like, what's wrong with me? But I got these to go for our recipe. And then last but not least, I got some of the Roaring Waters Tropical Tide. We already have a bunch um, left over from last week, so I didn't need to go crazy. Same thing with, like, chips and stuff for the boys, guys. They have a lot from last week, so I didn't need to stock up because we already have those things. So that is everything for this week, guys. Like I said, it was $86 with tax, and that was taking off some of the things they were out of stock, and that was also so with a $10 credit from you guys using that code down below in the description box. Thank you so much for using that, guys. It really helps us out for our grocery haul every week. Y'all give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy grocery hauls, and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not with me already, because we'd love to have you a part of the YouTube family. Until next time with another grocery haul, guys. Love you guys so much. Y'all have an awesome week, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.